Hello, all the CA into students. Hope you are preparing for your FM. And one of the most awaited thing I am going to cover now very fast is from the exams point of view. If a question comes, how to get that six mark? From that point of view, let us approach this area called as factoring concept in data management. Okay, see here. First of all, theoretically, let me first explain you the logic such that problem solving becomes very easy. Okay, well, so factoring is a concept where company will sell the receivables or debtors to an agent called as a factor, called as a factor, it's an agency. These people will collect from the debtors and pay money to the uh, seller. For example, I am selling goods to you on credit, but people are becoming bad debt. Okay, people are becoming bad debt or there is another problem as well. Once I sell to you on credit, you will pay me after 60 days. For that 60 days, I am not having cash with me. <clears throat> I am not having cash with me. Correct? So, I am having a cash crunch because of that my liquidity is getting uh, disturbed. To eradicate this, I am having two options. Number one, go for a bank loan. But that is not always uh, desirable. Okay. Reason for bank loan which is always uh, damaging because bank loan if you take now, it's a fixed amount. Means you should go to the bank and tell, I want 5 lakh loan, I want 4 lakh loan. Like that you should ask. Okay. Wa? But when it comes to factoring, what we will do? We will sell our credit sales. Means what? Amount is always changing and we know how much it is. So therefore, always than bank financing, always uh, when it comes to debtors, factoring is the best idea. Okay. But sometimes in the question, they will ask both. Whether bank financing is better or factoring financing is better, they will ask. Okay. See, balance sheet plus assets aside, receivables are there. Let's say debtors. The debtors is 5 lakh. Means what? It's receivable in another 3 months. And for 3 months, I am losing that much of cash. Correct? And second, there is a bad debt problem also. To eradicate these two problems. Which two problems? Blockage of amount in the form of credit sales, in the form of debtors. And bad debt. These are the two problems with the debtors. Okay. To eradicate this, to overcome this, to mitigate this, there is a concept that came into existence called as a factoring. So even at this neck of the moment, why I am telling you the logic? In exam, if a question comes with the logic, what I say you, you will understand everything that what they are asking in the examination. Okay. You will become very much confident and clear with regard to the question and answer. Okay. That's why listen to what I am saying till the end because I am not telling any story to you at this moment. Number one. Number two. There are three parties involved in a factoring. Seller, buyer, factor. Next one. What will happen? Seller will make a credit sale to the debtor. Okay. Now credit sale is created. Receivables are created. Okay. Well, these receivables will be sold to a factor. Factor will collect the payment from the debtor. Okay. Well, now listen carefully. For doing all this, factor will charge a fee or a commission. Obviously, now who will do free of cost? Now, main thing that you have to understand. What are all the financial aspects that we need to keep in mind while going to exam? Okay. For that also, I prepared schedule. Follow that properly. Blindly follow that. You will get the answer. Schedule 1. Net amount to the seller. Total amount of debtors. What is the debtors you need to take? Minus commission charged by the factor. Balance will be the net amount to the seller. Okay. Next. See, now new point started. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. Factor will not pay you entire debtors. They will keep some amount of reserve with them and pay only the balance to you. Pay only the balance to you. Sir, I didn't understand this logic. Listen carefully. I made 5 lakh sale in a month. How much? 5 lakhs a credit sale. Debtors. How much? 5 lakh debtors is created in a month on the asset side of the balance sheet. Imagine. Assets. Balance sheet is there. Asset side. Debtors. For a month. It is 5 lakh. Okay. Well, now clarity. Now listen to the second point. Whenever debtors are there, it's a receivable to the company. Here comes the problem. Receivable in another 90 days, 3 months time. Okay. Blockage of money is there, na? That's why do you know what our company will do? Our company will approach a factor. Factor, factor. Please collect this file lakh. They will tell, yes sir, we will collect. Sir, collect them. They will tell, are you confident about collection? Yes sir. We are experts in that. We take the risk of the collection. We will collect that file lakh and give you. Okay. Then company will tell. When you will give, they will tell after 90 days. After 90 days, I can also do the same. Na? So, you don't wait till then. Factor. Company will ask the factor. Factor, factor. Don't wait for 3 months. Pay me now itself. Enter 5 lakh. You said now you are confident. 
Then what is the problem? Give me enter file lakh. Then factor will tell, oh, like that you came up. Then I will do one thing. I will not pay you entire file lakh. Some amount I will keep as a reserve and balance amount I will pay you in advance. Okay, wow. and then what is happening here indirectly? You are getting a loan from a person for the next three months time. That's the concept of advance on debtors. That advance amount is there. Now. For example, 5 lakh. 5 lakh, la, say for example, 70% comes to 3 lakh 50. 3 lakh 50, they will pay us advance. Okay. 3 lakh, actually you should get after 3 months, that 5 lakh. But in that 5 lakh, 3 lakh 50 come today itself. Remaining 1 lakh 50 will be paid at the end. They will keep it as a reserve. So, sometime, factor may also keep some reserve. In such a case, the amount to the seller is not this one. Another deduction will be there. Total amount to the debtors, commission, reserve and net amount to the seller. Factor can either collect amount, make full payment to the supplier or supplier will give back the commission alternative. Simply, sometimes they will collect and then they will pay or sometimes they will pay in advance. That will be said in the question clear. That's not a big problem. Next, commission to the factor. Commission to the factor. If question is silent, assume that we are paying commission in advance. In advance means not after three months. We will pay commission upfront. Means a file act now on the file act, you should pay commission of itself. Then only I will start my work. But if clearly said in the problem somewhere else that it is advance or it is paid on collection, then you have to follow that. If question they said something, follow that. Or else if question is silent, assume that it is paid in advance. Which one? Commission. Interest. Sir, what interest is that? Why will pay interest? Ah, 5 lakh rupee is the data which you will receive after 3 months. But they are paying today itself 75% or 70% in our example. Uh, that means you are receiving that amount as an advance. On uh, that you have to pay interest to the factor. So, savings in interest. Savings in interest. See, because of, because of going out of debtors. Means your debtors are going out of balance sheet. Na? Because of that, old collection period is there okay new collection period is there interest saved during in the decrease of debtors will be cost of credit sales simply credit sales into old collection period minus a new collection period effective cost of factoring very very important formula cost due to factoring what are the costs commission is one cost interest on advance is a cost savings in cost what saving bad debt saving will be there collection saving will be there if I do not factor, I should appoint a person and pay on administrative cost. Those all I am saving now. So cost benefit analysis. Cost of factoring minus benefits on uh, that particular factoring divided by net amount received. Okay. Cost due to factoring. Commission interest. Savings. Savings in bad debt. Savings in admin cost. Savings in interest cost. Okay. Net amount received will be the balance that we will do in the question. Types of factoring. Non-recourse and recourse. What is non-recourse? We are transferring debtors from us to a factor. That's it. That belongs to factor only. Risk of collection will be with the factor. Non-recourse means, sir, these debtors are irrecoverable. I cannot collect. So, therefore, you take them back. No, no, I will not take them. Once transferred, that's it. Transaction completed. Again, company will not take back the responsibility of debtors. That's called as a non-recourse. So, loss arising on bad debt will be borne by the factor. Reverse is the recourse. <coughs> will be borne by the firm itself. Therefore, we will pay less commission here. Okay. This is the factor concept. See, eight and a half minutes will be completed. Entire concept of factor. Another five, ten minutes will complete one problem. That's it. That's why I said, if you understand the concept and do problem, na, even a new question comes, 70, 80% you will do right. Okay. Let's see. I am showing you a eight marks question. Annual credit sale. Annual credit sale. 48 lakh. Credit period. Three months. Existing bad debt. 2% of credit sales. Factor information. Fees charged by factor, 5%. Non-recourse. Advance by factor, 15%. Means interest charged will be 50. Factor reserve, 25% of the debtor's balance. Okay. Now you know what is the meaning of each and every point. That's why introduction is required. Reduction in admin collection cost due to factoring. Savings in cost. Interest and commission are paid to the factor at the end of each cycle. Calculate effective cost of factoring. Read the question first. Pause the video and read the question. I'm telling again, same question can come in examination, please. Okay, completed. So, first of all, you need to understand <laughs> certain basics about the concept. See, credit sale 48 lakhs. Uh, three months is the credit period. What does it mean? 48 lakhs is the annual credit sale. Okay. 
48 lakh is annual credit sale. Okay. For every three months, 12 lakhs we are going to sell. And three months after our 12 lakhs will come back to us normally. Normally. Deduction of bad debts will be there. Normally, 48 lakhs is the annual sale. For every cycle, 12 lakhs. Okay now. And today, if I make 12 lakh sale, I will receive that amount after three months. I will receive that amount after three months, not today. So that's the meaning. So how much amount will be blocked at any time? 12 lakhs say blocked, not entire 48 lakhs. Because in that 12 lakhs will come after three months. Na? So at any point of time during the year, if you see, 12 lakh amount of sale will be blocked in the form of debtors. That's the meaning of this concept. Okay. So don't consider 48. Consider 12 lakhs only. Because one cycle, there are three months. Means how many cycles? Nine the cycles will be, four cycles will be there. Okay. So four cycles totally. Each cycle is 12 lakh. Total is 48 lakh. Like that you need to first understand. Okay. Normally now the bad debts are 2% of credit sales. How much? 2% of credit sales. Each cycle is 2%. Credit sales ki bad debt will be there. So the total 48 lakhs la bad debts will be 96,000. Each cycle la Four cycles are 24,000. Total 96,000 will be there. How much amount will be blocked throughout the year? 12 lakhs. Eh? Amount of blocking is different. Bad debts are different. Bad debts will be on entire credit sale. But blocking will happen only for three months. So this clarity students should have. So what you need to fix in mind for the tomorrow's exam? Bad debts is calculated on total credit sale. Okay. But average, but advance interest, all these will be calculated on cycle basis because full amount will not be blocked throughout the year. Entire 48 lakhs will not be blocked now. In that 48 lakh, or a cycle at 12 lakhs, say. And the 12 lakhs will be blocked over 3 months. That 12 lakh will come back after 3 months, now. So therefore, at any point of time, 12 lakh amount will be blocked in the form of debtors. Charge, fees charged by factor, 5%. Advance, how much uh, they will charge interest, 15%. How much reserve they will keep? Ah, take calculator. 48 lakhs is per, per annum. One cycle, one cycle, how much? Divided by 4. Why 4? 3 months means, 4, 3 months will be there in a year, 4 cycles. Each cycle get 12 lakh. In that, 25% will be reserve. Into 75% you do. 9 lakhs they will pay. On that 9 lakhs they will charge interest of 15%. Into 15%. Into 15%. This is the answer here. So like this, we need to start computing the answers. Okay. Because of that, there is a reduction. Okay. First, total credit sale, 48 lakh. Credit period, 3 months. Number of cycles, 4. Factor collection per cycle, 12 lakh. Advance, 9 lakh. Just now we did that. All those things. Done. Calculation of interest and reserve. On this 9 lakhs, 15% they will charge. Okay. Ma? Sir, 9 lakhs is per cycle. Na? I am telling this only very clearly. 9 lakhs will be blocked throughout the year in the form of advance. What I said just now, see, 48 lakhs is the total credit sale. In that, how many cycles are there? 4. At any point of time during the year, how much amount will be blocked in the form of data? 12 lakhs a blocked, not entire 48 lakhs. Throughout the year, 12 lakhs a blocked amount. Okay. So that 12 lakh into 75%, 9 lakh into 15%. 1 lakh 35,000 is the interest. Okay. Next. Calculation of savings and cost. 96,000 I am going to save. 48 lakhs into 2%. Admin cost. 8,000 per month I can save. 96. So total saving is 1 lakh 92. Calculation of cost per annum. Okay. Commission. 2 lakh 40,000. 2 lakh 40,000. Take calculator. See. Commission are paid at the end of each cycle. How many cycle? 4 cycle. Each cycle how much? 12 lakh recovery. Okay, 12 lakh into 5%. Okay, ma? 12 lakh into 5%. 60. How many cycles? 4 cycles. 2 lakh 40. 60,000 into 4. I should give some clarity here. Sixty thousand into 4. So total cost per annum will be 3 lakh 25. Effective cost of factoring. Formula. Cost of factoring minus savings. Okay, cost of factoring minus savings divided by net amount received. How much amount received? 9 lakh will be received. <clears throat> so, 20.33. 20.33. So, this is the cost of factoring. 
So this much is the net cost to the company if you go for factory. If a bank interest rate is uh, 18 or 16, etc., go by bank financing. If the bank interest rate is 21, 22, better go by factory. Okay. Per cycle, key, what is the cost? 5.0833. Per annum, it will be 20.33%. This is how factoring questions has to be solved. Okay. Well, step by step, I have done the answer. Please see the answer and complete it.